हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विधान वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल टुडे वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिसेंबर 2016 क्वेश्चन नंबर 65 इट्स फ्रॉम बुकलेट को डे फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टू साइनोसोइडल सिग्नल्स आर सेंट टू एन एनालॉग मल्टीप्लायर ऑफ स्केल फैक्टर 1 पर वोल्ट फॉलोड बाय अ लो पास फिल्टर दिस इज मल्टीप्लायर दिस सर्किट इज मल्टीप्लायर दिस मल्टीप्लायर्स टू वोल्टेजेस this voltage and this voltage so there are two voltages available at the two input terminals of the multiplier and this is actually the symbol of the multiplier circuit and this circuit is made by using operational amplifier that means multiplier is one more example of the application of operational amplifier because it uses an operational amplifier now this is the low pass filter so whatever is the output of the multiplier that will go through this low pass filter and we will have a final output and this is what we have to find now one more thing that this low pass filter is actually the active filter that means this is the circuit this is the filter circuit that is made by using operational amplifier and we know operational amplifier is actually active device so this is one more example of the application of operational amplifier so multiplier is the application of operational amplifier this low pass filter circuit is also an application of the operational amplifier so we have two stages of outputs first of all we have a output from this multiplier and then that output will go through the low pass filter and we will have the final output it says if the roll of frequency actually roll of frequency is the cut off frequency the cut off frequency for this low pass filter is 5 hertz it is 5 hertz the output voltage v output is what so this is what we have to find so let us draw the circuit given here now this is the multiplier as given let me tell you that it may be shown in this way also but since in our problem it uses this symbol we will be using this the first signal is v1 equal to 5 cos 100t the second signal is 20 cos 100t plus pi by 3 and here we have the output and later it will go through low pass filter so what is the output let us write it down the standard output formula for the multiplier having two inputs is this output i am writing down this is k times v1 into v2 now what is k k is the scale factor which is 1 per volt that means the value is 1 in this problem so it is 1 into v1 first volt that is 5 cos 100t into v2 that means 20 cos 100t plus pi by 3 so we have to multiply it now 5 times 20 is 100 and what we have now cos of 100 t into cos of 100 t plus pi by 3 that means now we have to multiply these two sinusoidal terms and we know the product rules in trigonometry you must have seen the product rules that are i will write down two rules and one will be used just for example we know that sin alpha into cos bit beta is equal to half sin alpha plus beta plus sin alpha 
minus beta we also know that cos alpha into cos beta is equals to half cos alpha plus beta plus cos alpha minus beta and there are two more but I will not write them down so out of these two product rules we can see that this is the proper this is the proper formula to be used in our problem because we have to multiply cos of omega t with the cos of omega t not omega t I should say beta let us suppose that this term is alpha and this term is beta now you can see cos of alpha times cos of beta so we have cos of alpha and here cos of beta so this is the formula that we will be using so from this term this term we will be using so from here we get hundred this hundred now cos alpha into cos beta is half times that means half times cos alpha plus beta and it means this plus this hundred t plus hundred t plus pi by three plus so here we have plus then cos alpha minus beta let's write downside now alpha is again 100 t minus beta and this much is beta so it is 100 t minus pi by 3 okay so we have we can see this is 50 this is what cos 100 t plus 100 t 200 t plus pi by 3 plus cos now these two terms cancel so we have cos of minus pi by 3 and what we can write now we can write it as cos of 50 cos 200 t plus pi by 3 and we know cos of minus theta is actually cos theta so it doesn't matter if there is minus even if there is a minus it doesn't matter because it is inside cos the function is cos function so it is cos pi by 3 now let us distribute it so we can distribute it let us do that it is 50 times this function 50 cos 200 t plus pi by 3 and 50 times this plus 50 cos pi by 3 so this is what we got one thing to be noticed that you can see that we started by multiplying the two voltages these two sinusoidal voltages because it is a multiplier and it will multiply these voltages so we have just multiplied it and what is the result you can see the result is actually the addition of the two functions two sinusoidal functions so this is the result that we have got from the multiplication of the two voltages and from here we will check that the first function has what frequency and the second function of the output has what frequency and remember this is the output from the multiplier from the multiplier this is not v output i will say i will write down v 
I will just write it V. So it's V. And now it goes to a low pass filter. And then the output, I will call it V out. So we have to find the V output. Now we have found the V. And this is V. And now the frequency is important. Since we have two terms, so we have to find the frequency of this term and frequency of this term. Because if the frequency of this term is greater than 5 Hz, then this term will not be allowed. And if this is greater than 5 Hz, this will not be allowed. If this is less than 5 Hz, it, this term will be allowed as the final output voltage. If this is less than 5 Hz, it will be allowed. Because it has been already specified that the this low pass filter has a cutoff frequency of 5 Hz. That means anything higher than any frequency higher than 5 Hz will not be allowed theoretically. Okay. So let us check the now you can see that this term of the first term this is what this is omega t plus phi where phi is pi by 3 and omega t is 200 t. So let us write omega t is actually 200 t. Now t t cancel so omega is equals to 200 and omega is 2 pi f is equals to 200. So f is equals to what 200 by 2 pi that means 100 by pi and what is 100 by pi 100 by 3.14 and this is equivalent to 33 hertz okay and this 33 hertz is actually greater than the role of frequency of the low pass filter or the cutoff frequency it is greater than fc so this frequency signal will not be allowed that means this part of the output that has come from the multiplier will not be allowed further by the low pass filter. Now let us check for this. Here cos of pi by 3. Now so the term with t is not there. It means it is actually 5 cos omega t plus pi by 3. This pi by 3 is actually the phi term. Okay. So omega t is here actually 0. So omega t is 0. That means omega is equal to 0. And that means 2 pi f is equal to 0. And that means frequency is equal to 0. So this is a DC voltage. The voltage is always same. But the frequency is 0. And what is the amount of voltage? The voltage is 50 cos pi by 3. That means we have two terms in the output from the multiplier. This term plus this term. And this term is having the frequency greater than 5 Hz. And that's why it will not be allowed. And this term is having frequency 0. Now frequency being the frequency 0. If the frequency is 0, it doesn't mean that it is magnitudeless. It has the magnitude. It has the magnitude of 50 cos pi by 3. But what is the frequency? Frequency is 0. If the frequency is 0, so and 0 hertz is greater than the FC. And FC is what? 5 hertz. So it is greater than, I'm sorry, it is less than 5 hertz. Now since the frequency of this term is less than 5 Hz, so this will be passed, this term, I am putting it inside the green circle, this will be passed by the low pass filter and this term will not be passed the low pass filter. So this voltage will not be passed by the low pass filter but this voltage will be passed by the low pass filter because it has the frequency lesser than 5 Hz and it has the frequency greater than 5 Hz and we know that for low pass filter if we write down the gain and frequency graph theoretically the graph is like this and this is fc or fh we seldom say any frequency lower than this cutoff will be passed and will have a gain by the circuit there will be a gain of the circuit so any frequency lower than this fc 
will be passed and will have a gain. But as soon as it reaches Fc or anything greater than Fc, any frequency that is greater than this Fc, you can see there is no gain. That means this signal is not being passed by the low pass filter. So this is the graph of the low pass filter and where this is the cutoff frequency. And always remember that low pass cutoff frequency is actually called high cutoff frequency because anything higher than this is not passed. And we can see that this has a higher, this term, if we calculate the frequency of this term, we can see it is 33 hertz, which is higher than 5 hertz. So it will not be passed. But since from this term we can see this term is having the frequency of 0 Hz and which is lesser than Fc, so it will be passed by the low pass filter. So this term will be passed. So if this term is passed, then this term finally our V output will be now V out that means this output, this output is equal to this term is now 0, this will not be passed. And this term will be passed which is 50 cos of pi by 3 so equal to 0 plus 50 cos pi by 3 and cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 25 so it is 25 volt that means our final output is 25 volt so the right answer is 2 Thank you.